Hello everyone, welcome back again. So yesterday I'm sure you must have seen the entire set of faculties with Alak sir and we had an amazing introduction and we were very much happy and excited to introduce all our faculties every professional years and take more questions to answer regarding your preparation strategies and how to crack the exam be it university exam or NEET or FMG or your INICT. So today here I am Dr. Anjit. With me is the first professional year experts. With me we have Dr. Pradeep Pawar who is going to take anatomy for all of us and we have Dr. Rajesh Jambulkar who will be taking biochemistry for all of us and we have uh, Dr. Vivek Nalrikar for physiology who is unfortunately will not be available with us for today and I'm sure he, you will be meeting him in the sprint sessions to uh, ask any of your doubts, questions regarding how to ace physiology. So now let's start the panel discussion. Over to you Dr. Pradeep Pawar sir and like uh, give me a brief introduction about yourself. So hello students, I'm Dr. Pradeep Pawar, professor of anatomy. I have a vast experience of teaching the PG entrance students, the FMG students for over 25 plus years, India and abroad. Thank you, sir. La the experience what you have might be uh, one of the, maybe the most experienced teacher in the entire panel. You have taken uh, classes for quite a few of our faculties and we are proud to say that uh, your students to share the uh, dias with you and we are also trying to teach and emulate the style what you taught us uh, in the past. So over to you, Dr. Ra Rajesh Jambulkar. Tell me a brief thing about you. Hello students, I am Dr. Rajesh Jambulkar. I am from Nagpur. I have done my MD from GMC Nagpur and DNB from New Delhi, NB New Delhi. I also run a YouTube channel where I have more than 3 lakh subscribers and I am teaching biochemistry since more than 10 years. And the, uh, the notes that all of you students use, you must aware of that. So it is a uh, leading uh, notes in the biochemistry that is best selling notes on Amazon. Okay, so we will uh, together uh, in a team, we will deal with the uh, what are the important topics in the PG entrance examination and for FMG exam also INICT exam. Thank you, sir. Uh, I think uh, with the vast experience of teaching in both anatomy and biochemistry, and with Dr. Vivek sir on the panel, who is not uh, who is not able to be here, and we have put together 50 plus experience in teaching medical students, and I'm sure all the inputs from the past till the present and in the future, be it via creating notes or be it via creating content for MBBS students or NEET or next PG, will be definitely able to help the students. So going on to the next session, we have few questions from our beloved students all across the country, and I would be more than happy to ask and uh, from the panelists their respected opinions about it. First question to Dr. Pradeep Pawar. Uh, this is one of my questions as well, sir, for a very, very long time. Uh, even after understanding the concept of anatomy, I am unable to learn and remember anatomy. And how have you, you been doing that for 25 years? Please sh share your secret with the students. This is a very common question asked by most of the students. See, once the concept of anatomy is clear, you just got to revise it again and again. See the slides. The more number of slides you see, your concepts are going to be better, more clearer. You just have to revise it and solve the MCQs, solve the clinical oriented MCQs. So that will help you to be better. So I think the application is the key. Uh, it's going to understand about the concepts, the core concepts of the artery, nerve, bone, everything. Apply to clinical scenarios. I think uh, that will help you to remember for a long term thing. Uh, the next question is to Dr. Rajesh. Like, how do you understand the concepts begin biochemical tests because we remember that uh, ev in the practical exams we do have tests where uh, we memorize some things and we if the color comes we will be happy yes. if the ring doesn't come the most saddest person in the entire class will be them right so how to the ring ace it tire. yeah most of the time the <laughs> yeah, ring that's in the taste that becomes the tire that's true we, we okay. used to compare that uh, yours is clear mine is not good how to learn it and how to efficiently do it in an mbbs exam in biochemistry, when it's about the ring, it should be thin, hair thin ring. It not like a tire. Okay. So now the clinical biochemistry era or applied biochemistry era, this is the era of auto analyzer. This is the era of semi auto analyzer where all the, all the tests are automated. And the basic is remains same, whether it is on auto analyzer, whether it is on semi auto analyzer or whether, whether it is manual, the basic is same. When you are going to detect the urea in the clinical laboratory, the urea is the colorless compound or creatinine, it is a colorless compound. By chemical reaction, 
we make the colorful compound by reacting with the urea or reacting with the creatinine and then we detect that color colorimetrically or spectrophotometrically go to any instrument the same principle is there intensity of color is directly proportional to the concentration of analyte and this is the basic behind the every test so principle may be different but this is the basic behind the every test and i hope so, somewhere down the future we will be also changing the pattern of going to automate analyzer for practicals as well and not looking for the test tubes and the rings or that tires the applied aspect so uh, as the cbme curriculum is going this is already in process uh, that's great that's great to hear i think future mbbs aspirants will be very very happy not look for the tire or the ring and happily enjoy biochemistry as a subject yes, yes, uh, next question is to dr pradeep pawar like uh, which like when you take anatomy there's neuroanatomy there's embryology upper limb lower limb a huge vast abdomen so which topics to focus when i'm going to have an scenario based exams like when it's neat or next it's more of clinical scenarios what all topics should a student focus for those exams yeah so the the topics which are important from clinical point of view those would be very important for the <coughs> the next exams the forthcoming exams so like for the abdomen we've got pancreas we've got spleen the liver these topics are clinically very important so a majority of questions will be asked secondly neuroanatomy the syndromes that we have the brain stem lesions the blood supply of the brain all these topics has to be covered in details the head and neck the cavernous sinus the cranial nerves the limbs are also important because very commonly we have got uh, carpal tunnel syndromes like in this covid you have seen many of the people who are working on the computers they developed carpal tunnel syndrome so those topics are important clinically when there's numbness in the fingers or when there are <coughs> lesions in the lower limb with respect to the nerves and vessels like varicose veins so basically the topics which are clinic which are you know we where we get cases to be seen which are clinically important are important from the exam point of view well said sir so uh, can we take that uh, we need not uh, remember the medial lateral uh, aspects surface anatomy the cranial c1 c2 is the root value is it possible that a student if i am a student i would have been very very happy to say that you need not remember all these uh, nerves root values or the medial lateral relation hopefully will that be no, still the be relations important? relations is fine but the root values are very important because specific root supplies specific muscles like t1 supplies the intrinsic muscles of the hand and if that t1 is compressed so all this intrinsic muscles of the hand would be paralyzed like c8 t1 in case of clumkey's paralysis and all so root values yes some nerves are very important thank you sir and it's hopefully when the next comes we are going to look at a very bigger perspective that uh, we will be using all the basic science focus towards patient learning hopefully not a rote learning where i am going to just memorize things we'll apply it and we'll be able to treat a patient in real life as well as solve a mcq which is going to be scenario based questions i hope that happens for all the subjects and that will be the most welcome move which is going to help all the mbbs aspirants and doctors in future next question to dr jambulkar yes, uh, so again this is one of my important questions which i wanted to ask and i hope that one biochem a teacher gives me an honest answer to this how to learn biochemistry cycles more efficiently the enzymes the rate limiting steps it exhaustive yeah, at least for me as a student it was exhaustive and how do you uh, how will you tell to a future aspirant or a first year student how to learn it more efficiently sir this is a question of every medical student true whether it is important to learn the structure whether it is important important to learn entire part to interrupt like not just student <laughs> after leaving away from student life for 10 years still it's a question <laughs> for me it's a burning question look for the medical student or clinical biochemistry it is not important to learn the structure of a compound so you forgot the structure completely there is no need to remember any structure okay few structures are there for example cholesterol and lipoprotein structures are there and the pathway pathway is very very important for example uh, if there is question on urea cycle disorder so there is need of learning the all five important enzymes in the urea cycle true okay if there is phenyl ketone urea you need to know the enzyme which is defective there and what is the basic behind the mousy order of urine so you need to learn the basic thing the biochemistry learning it should be integrated in between biochemistry in between the first year subjects in between the uh, the vertical integration means the um, clinical subject pediatric medicine it should be in the integrated way 
if you uh, studied the subject in the integrated way it is more easy to remember for example i will give you the one example of integrated way in the subject suppose the class of en enzyme the ec number means second class of enzyme is transferase example is transaminase that is sgot and sgpt which is frequently we do in our laboratory now for the transamination reaction which coenzyme is required pyridoxal phosphate is required now which type of anemia is there in the pyridoxal phosphate deficiency or vitamin b6 deficiency it is microcytic anemia if you know the causes of microcytic anemia you should know the causes of macrocytic anemia as well so there are three causes for macrocytic anemia b12 deficiency folic acid deficiency and orotic aciduria is there so in that way integrated way should be there and to remember the steps the revision is most important thing if you don't revise the subject it is volatile subject it is for the student it is for the faculty also so uh, rightly said like it's not just about the enzyme name even to remember a person's name yes with one time it's not going to happen yes yes so revision it's is very very it's important. very very important and like sir rightly said it's going to be the patient which is going to be put at the forefront of every teaching at pw and we'll try to adapt all the cbme curriculum based thing so that you can ace an university exam as well right thank you for your time sir and uh, so the next session here is like uh, i am sure that you must have uh, you, there is neat pg exam coming just in a 30 to 40 days max so what do you do what will be your advice to an aspirant because aspirants are now like what to do what should i do i have just 30 days and i can't even spend two days a subject it will be overwhelming so what do i do in a concise way to ace anatomy and to solve the 10 15 questions which comes in neat pg that's the ideal goal for them so your advice for the last 30 so the days. last minute revision right so just read the important things like the nerves the vessels of the limbs the neuroanatomy what i told you the lesions the abdomen the important clinical scenarios and try to correlate it clinically be very clear with your concepts revise it and i'm sure you'll be able to crack the exams Thank you, sir. That was very short and sweet. And your uh, suggestion to students uh, who is waiting for crack biochemistry in three, four hours. As far as biochemistry is concerned, make a priority list. This is the most important thing. Priority list uh, that should include your previous year questions. Okay, rare questions are different thing, and difficult questions are different thing. The priority wise, look, Zellweger syndrome is the difficult question, but it is. in the every exam there is question on the zellweger syndrome so it should be in, into your priority list in the um, last 3 year exam there is more number of questions on mineral and vitamin topic so uh, rather than uh, studying mineral and vitamin if you are preparing for the genetic then it is wrong okay so first read the mineral and vitamin topic there because the lots a lot of mcqs are there from this topic followed by the metabolic disorders the disorders which are linked with the metabolic near near about 5 to 6 questions are uh, always there on this topic so prioritize your topics like vitamin mineral on the top followed by the metabolic disorders followed by the metabolism and followed by the then genetics okay so applied aspect should be on the priority or it should be on the top of your list so in that way you can crack your exam easily Uh, that's a great insight. Like PYQs, like students know that it's important, and prioritizing it definitely will tell uh, them what to concentrate on. And maybe you know, they're not aiming for hundred yes. percent. So I am going to do all the important things, and the PYQs, which are like you said, which is difficult. If it gets repeated, you great. You should target. You should target for the ninety percent questions. That's great. That that are from the must know and nice to know topic. And not to be afraid of the ten percent. Yes. Leaving the ninety percent. Yes. Because the fear of missing out. with vast abundance of information available it should be concise in the last 30 days that's the only thing we can do yes right? thank you great sir thank you thank you for your insight and sir uh, we have a pw sprint which is going to start from the february 1st so what do you think a student can expect in your pw sprint session how they have to prepare how, how what they have to do to make the session best used for the exams so in this sprint session we'll be discussing the pyqs the previous year mcqs and the important topics which you should definitely focus upon for the exams so it will be a quick revision type of thing you should attend it it will be beneficial for you great so again the topic uh, moves around the important questions and the pyq so if you are able to cover the pyqs of all the subjects with us in the pw sprint and i think that will 
be the best thing what you can do in the last 30 days available and uh, dr rajesh what do you think a student is going to expect and how should they use the, your pw sprint session i div- i will follow the uh, applied aspect applied or clinical biochemistry more in the uh, sprint session and we will we will more focus on the clinical and applied aspect in the sprint session and the dcgs which are important and we will learn the dcgs in the integrated way in integration with pediatric in integration with medicine or in integration with other subject so it can be easily remembered and the previous year questions obviously we will do that great great uh, great everyone so thank you for your time and uh, like i said in the start uh, we were not able to get uh, dr vivek nalrika sir to be on the dais today but he also will be having hosting a P- uh, sprint session P- uh, with pw in the month of february and uh, you can expect the same he is definitely well known to most of us and uh, you will have the same module like uh, some topics in and around the pyq which vivek sir also will be discussing in the pw sprint session so thank you for your time guys and see you tomorrow with the second prof uh f- faculties and let's discuss more and with every year faculties and give a greater vision of understanding and how to make the best use of the content available the concise content available at pw for your exams and the most important thing how to take information from that and use it in your real life practice as well thank you for your time thank, thank you, you sir thank you thank you, thank you to all of you thank you